Hi guys, this is uh, DJ Delboy, aka Delementary, and uh, we're just doing some uh, comments, uh, updates on the tips and tricks videos that we've been releasing. And um, I think we've got about uh, six or seven tips and tricks videos from the uh, new funk, funky breaks mix that we're uh, going to be trickling over the next few weeks. So keep your eyes out for them. And we took a whole bunch of other overhead footage, uh, which we're going to sort of make replies with just to give you a different angle on things. Um, a couple of comments are tips and tricks videos number one is what we're referring to now. A couple of comments that were posted um, connections on the iPad. Um, you'd use a mini jack out of the iPad into your microphone socket, so that'd be quarter inch jack or uh, or uh, XLR. Um, you'd probably have to get one of those made up. I don't think you can find them off the shelf. I might be wrong. Um, two things to note are that the volume coming out of the iPad is huge. Okay, and it's going through the mic channel, which is. Um, I don't know the technicalities of it, but I know it's a hell of a lot louder than a line channel. So you need to drop your your volume on your iPad down before you switch on, okay? Otherwise you're just going to do some incredible damage, not only to your ears, but to your equipment, I assume. Um, the other thing is, when you leave the iPad, and I don't think this is the same for the iPhone, but when you leave your iPad jacked in and your microphone switched on, um, and it goes into standby, you get this awful earth hum. And it took us about half an hour to figure this out, what it was uh, on the day. Um, so uh, learn from our knowledge. Um, there's about um, a whole bunch of other tips and tricks coming, as I said. But we're going to explore more tips and tricks for other iPad applications as we uh, as we get to them. We're going to start uh, busting into a few more and we'll do some new videos for you there. Um, Still some more comments coming through saying, oh, you don't need the iPad, you should get this, you should get that. Yes, you can get an Akai. Yes, you can get this, that and the other. Samplers, MIDI controllers, God knows what else. But guys, it's just a bit of fun. It's an iPad, it's extremely visual, it's extremely simple to use, and it, you know, it's just fun for the crowd to watch. You pick up an iPad, you drop a, you, you choose an app, you start firing away on it, it draws the crowd into your performance. That's the point. You can have a MIDI keyboard set up firing something off a sampler or whatever, but it's boring to watch. It doesn't involve the audience at all. Okay, so that's the whole point of the iPad. It is it just it enhances your performance visually as people watch you, not as you watch the gear. Because a lot of people tend to think about that. They tend to lose track of that sometimes. Yeah, you can get all sorts of technology you can mess around with during your performance, but if it's dull to watch, what's the point? So uh, one final point, and quite possibly the most important one of all, uh, lots of people taking issue with my clothing. Not happy. Uh, all the videos that we recorded were done, uh, and the ones you haven't seen yet, were all done in one afternoon. Okay, now this isn't, you know, this isn't this morning with Holly and Phil. Um, yeah, it's just a couple of guys just filming, having some fun. Uh, so some people saying he's wearing the same clothes as he did in video one. It was all filmed in the same afternoon, all right? So I don't want to hear no more of this, or I'll be sending the boys around. Okay, so we've got some overhead footage to show you of the, um, the iPad tips and tricks. Uh, one other thing, quickly while thinking about it, the entire mix that we recorded on that day is available for download, uh, courtesy of the record labels involved. Uh, you can check that out on my SoundCloud page. Just go to my existing website, djdelboy.com, uh, which is soon going to be switching to my new artist name. Um, go there and follow the links to my SoundCloud page, okay? Um, as I said before a million times, get your bum on my Facebook fan page as well. Search for DJ Delboy. Musician, all right. It's the musicians page, oh. DJ Delboy musician page. There's a few DJ Delboys out there, but um, search for oh. DJ Delboy. You'll see my personal profile on there, but you'll also see the musician one as well. So oh. get to that SoundCloud page and download that mix. It's a corker. Okay, enjoy oh. this overhead footage, and uh, we'll see you on tips and tricks number two. Peace out. Okay, guys, we're going to show you what is clearly going to be something that sweeps the universe in the next sort of six months to a year. Uh, the iPad uh, gets launched this month, uh, we're in May 2010, for those of you watching in the future. Um, and um, I thought we'd there's a thousand things you can do with this, but uh, we thought we'd just show you one or two. First of all is the Crafty Cuts Against the Grain um, iPad app. And uh, these are very simple, just push button things that you can do with it. Uh, <laughs> And I'll show you how we use it like in a live situation in a minute, but you've got pages and pages of really cool stuff here uh, to use. Everything at the 
the touch of a button and it just makes it makes your performance really exciting and visual. So um, we're just going to go through uh, some stuff that we might do in a live situation here and then we'll show you the Dark Punk app which is really cool as well. That is amazing. Hey, hey, no, chick, chick. There's sound, stabs, bass drops, uh, samples, and um, so we'll come out of that now. We'll find the the iDaft app, and this is the number two one. Yeah, you get a choice of uh, using either technologic or harder, better, faster. So we'll go into that one, and uh, you can just literally replicate the entire song. So here we go.